Hello students, welcome to EduAid. I am Amarjit Dev, Assistant Professor of Assam Don Bosco University. Today we will continue with the functions of management and I hope all of you are taking the notes, taking the lessons in your copy apart from listening in your through your mobile or through the computer. The next topic today is about is on organizing the second function of management okay so what is organizing organizing is the process of establishing relationships among the members of the enterprise or among the members of the organization or company or firm establishing relationships and to divide the work amongst the employees or various across various departments determining the authority responsibility relationship all these forms a part of organizing now if i ask you this is probably my what number is this lesson okay let us say if this is my 14th or 15th lesson with you do you have a summary of the list of topics that we have covered starting from concept of management definition of management and so on if you have that means you are as an individual your approach is very organized okay rather you may not have the list but if it is systematically arranged in your copy i always tell my students by showing them the copy that you know in what is the first page in your copy when you open the cover table of contents but what do we do here there we draw cartoons we scribble and a lot of things no it is not meant for that you need to write the topics systematically every page on the top left hand or right hand corner has a space for page number or even if it doesn't have you always supposed to write the page number that means you are very organized are you clear okay so let's begin by understanding the steps of organizing which is the second function of organizing is the second function of management step number 1 identification of please write it down all of you identification of activities which means the various work or the task that needs to be done maybe as activity a activity b so on and so forth identify De write it down in detail accordingly you can decide on the course of action remember in my previous topic on planning first decide on the plan it out and then decide the course of action okay so identification of activities is the first step after identifying the activities do you think everybody is equipped to undertake all the tasks definitely not when a doctor specializes he is either becomes a orthopedic surgeon a pediatrician a gynecologist or medicine and so on and various specialties are there when you talk of teachers either they are into accounting they are into finance tumalokor sir madam hot junior junior pod jiket hole tumak por hai what is the specialization that they have you can find it out if you don't know right so therefore similar is the case with organizing you need to specialize because the task has to be performed by specialist people this work has to be performed by specialists who are skilled in that work so therefore which is it is known as grouping of activities the tasks needs to be grouped okay and then decide who is to do the work where is to do the work when is to do the work how is we are to do the work so on and so forth please remember when i started functions of management what did i say functions of management are interrelated and interdependent which means if i am to draw a circle planning organizing staffing directing what is the last function controlling good interrelated and interconnected so have you seen organizing is in strong connection with what with planning let us go to the third after grouping what will you do 
let us say we grouped it into three three groups we grouped the tasks into three a b and c what will you do next you will assign the task assign money you will distribute the task to the concerned department DEPT department finance marketing accounts marketing research sales so on and so forth because these departments are headed are consisting of specialists who qualified themselves to come into that position let us go to the fourth function please remember in every work do you remember the classification of levels of management top middle and lower why do we classify because every task cannot be dealt with by everyone the task is divided into various you know skills of people when you talk of skill sets of people you know after you are assigning the task to various departments and within the departments you have somebody called a superior boss buli ami je ko hoy na no hoy boss and subordinate right so what is the point creating authority responsibility relationship ari l n buli moi likhisu dei authority responsibility relation ships between subordinates and supervisors remember it is we are talking of democratic organization top down and bottom up approach okay consultative decision making working together as a group management is a group activity so, are you getting the friends so these are your four steps of organizing right so it's time to recap and write the questions the question here is explain the second function of management or it can be part of the question broad question explain in detail elaborately explain the various functions of management if it is two marks or if it is a three mark question you explain all the functions with one one statement just the meaning of it but if you are asked individually then you know what are the steps of organizing this is your answer or what do you mean by identification of activities one mark okay identification of activity is which step in the function of management identification of activities is which step in the function of management if you are thorough in your work you will say sir it is organizing or it is planning whatever it is are you getting the point okay what is the first feature of planning or dash is the feature of which activity which function and it is planning organizing so that is how your whole questions yet a saita question horu horu hobo pare othoba eta broad question hobo pare clear so please read your notes as well as your textbook and and uh, for learning you need to revise again and again okay students thank you for being patient